Many people ask, how do I remove the belt clip? Well, we don't want you to lose your track stick, so we made it extra tight. Simply press firmly on the top tab to remove the clip. Installing the batteries on your track stick is easy. On the back, there's a little reminder sticker to download the software. It's there for a reason. Peel the label back and remove the USB cover. This allows access to the sliding battery door. Pull it back and you can see where the batteries go. Insert two AAA batteries as indicated on the diagram. Push the switch and be certain you have a blinking light. Slide the door back in. Replace the USB cover for safety. You've installed the batteries in your track stick. The next thing we need to do is get a GPS lock on your track stick. This means your track stick is communicating with the global positioning satellites. In order to do that, the globe symbol on track stick must face the sky without any metal objects to block its view of the satellites. Leave the track stick outdoors with a clear view of the sky for at least 15 minutes so that it can map its own position. The longer you leave it sit before you use it, the better it will operate. The green light should come on after a few minutes and would continue to blink every few seconds. If the green light does not come on after a few minutes, try moving the track stick to another location. A note on battery life. Remember, a track stick doesn't work like a cell phone. Like any electronic device powered by batteries, you need to remember to turn it off when it's not in use. A red light means your track stick is actively looking for a satellite signal. That's fine for a short while, but it'll use your batteries much quicker. When you don't need your track stick, turn it off.